Greetings from Thailand, everybody. Bobby Hesley here, and I'm out on my morning walk. I gotta get some thoughts out or I'll explode again. I just read yesterday that the Asheville City Council in the state of North Carolina just approved reparations for people of the city of Asheville. It's absolutely ridiculous. You know, when are my black people, this, this message I'm getting ready to send, it all comes from a place of love. When are my people, my black people, finally going to get their piece of the American dream? Why is it that black people are the only race of minorities in the United States of America who are sitting on the sidelines while all the other minorities that come from other countries show everybody else how it's done? I'm from Metro Detroit. There's a huge group of minorities called Chaldeans. There are people that I've become very, very familiar with over the last three years. Many of them are very close friends of mine. Did you know that Chaldeans are Iraqi Catholics that came from Iraq? They had to flee war. They had to flee persecution. They had to flee genocide from Iraq as recently as 2003 when we invaded and Saddam Hussein uh, you know, was toppled. Things were actually made much worse for them there. And the fact is, in, a, in just one generation, I mean it, in just one generation, Chaldeans were able to become one of the wealthiest minority groups in the entire United States of America. It's a fact that just this little minority community of Chaldeans, they contribute $10.7 billion per year to the Michigan economy. And they did it in one generation. And they have nothing back at home. Most of their relatives have been killed. They're still being persecuted by ISIS and, and, and groups like that that are left behind in Iraq. And yet they came to America with nothing. They came to Detroit with nothing. They lived in the same ghettos that black people live in, the same ghetto that I grew up in in Brightmoor, okay? And yet, in one generation, they were able to become one of the most wealthy minority groups in the entire country. Why is it that the Asians were able to come here who were interred in concentration camps back in the 1940s after the bombing of Pearl Harbor? That's some history a lot of people don't know. In the United States, FDR interred Asians. Asians have been through a lot. And yet they came here and prospered like crazy. You have Caribbeans, you have Haitians. I used to live in South Florida for a number of years. And there's lots of people with black skin, like Haitians, West Indians, people from the Caribbean, Jamaicans. They come here, they work hard, they build great lives for themselves. So why are American blacks the only race that's left behind? I'll tell you exactly why. And I don't blame most black people as a whole. I love my black people but they are the victims of a victim mentality that's put upon them by black leadership. That's a fact. And this talk of reparations, it's absolutely ridiculous. I've never been a slave. Most white people in this country have never owned slaves. Why do we have to do reparations? As a matter of fact, if we're gonna do reparations, I wanna, be, I wanna stay honest about it, okay? For those of you that believe in reparations, I wanna keep you honest about something. If you believe that a race of people who own slaves have to cut out checks to people that, are, that came generations later, that were never affected by that, and that we are owed money for things that happened to us generations ago, centuries ago, and that whoever was guilty of owning slaves owes money to future generations, well, guess what? Black people are on the hook for lots of money, if that's the case. I'm going to give you some hashtag real black history, not the watered down revisionist black history that we have to suffer through every February that's filled with inaccuracies and that's filled with omissions, filled with so many omissions that it's actually dishonest. Do you guys know who one of the first people in the United States of America to own slaves were? I want you to look this up and I'm going to source to it because the fact speaks for themselves and it's facts before feelings. It's reals before feels, guys. Did you know that a black man was one of the very first people to own slaves in the United States? Come on now. Now that's a black history conversation I don't think we wanna have. Look up Anthony Johnson. I'm gonna link to it below. There was a man named Anthony Johnson who was one of the first people in history. Anthony Johnson was a black man from Angola who came here and he owned slaves. 
He owned five slaves. And get this, here's where your black history gets even more uh, unmentionable, which is why this is the first time most of you are hearing this. Did you know that Anthony Johnson, out of the five slaves that he owned, four of them were white and one of them was black. We talk about black on black violence, black on black crime. Well, guess what? The original slavery in the United States was black on black slavery. It was also black on white slavery because 80% of the slaves that Mr. Anthony Johnson owned were white. Four out of those five slaves were white. One of them was black. So you know what? Black people, if we're gonna be issuing out reparations, black people owe white people money. Black people owe other black people money, I guess. I guess we should cut ourselves some reparation checks because one of his slaves was black. He ended up being a wealthy tobacco farmer in Northampton, Virginia. A black man owning slaves.